And today we're going to take a look at another example of how heat is released from a chemical reaction, in particular the enthalpy of the chemical reaction, and how we can use that information to figure out how much of the material or how much of the liquid or the gas or so that we need to combust to get a certain amount of energy released. So in this particular case, we have the question that says, uh, what volume of benzene, benzene is C6H6, which is by the way a liquid, it's a probably a component of gasoline, that's sometimes why some places they call gasoline benzene, um, is required to produce 2,480 kilojoules of heat. So here's the chemical reaction for benzene, we put some benzene together with oxygen, we combust it, we get carbon dioxide and water vapor, the enthalpy uh, change here is minus 6,278 kilojoules and that's quite a bit for a reaction like this. So we use the same equation as we did before but of course there's one wrinkle to it. They're asking us what volume of benzene. So first what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the mass of the reactant required to produce the kind of energy and from that we're going to try to find the volume. So that's the second step to the problem. So secondly, since we're looking for the mass of the reaction, we have to get all these other components to the other side of the equation. Again, what we do there is uh, realizing that if we have two fractions set equal to each other, we're able to move things across the diagonal. So for example, if I want to solve this for D, I can put the D up there. So D is equal to C on the other side, the B goes diagonally across over here, and the A comes diagonally across over there. So by moving things around like that, we can find the, any of the components of this equation. Since we're looking for this, we're going to move everything on the denominator to the numerator here, and everything in the numerator here to the denominator here to solve for the mass of the reactant. So let's do that first. So we have the energy released is equal to one reaction times the moles of the reactant times the mass per mole of the reactant. So all this goes to the numerator, and we take all this and bring it down to the denominator. So we have the energy released. Uh, so this would be the minus delta H, right? So that's the opposite of the delta H that we need to get in there. So that would be the minus delta H times one reaction. And that then gives us the mass of the reactant. All right, now all we have to do is plug in the numbers associated with uh, this problem. So the energy release, that's this one right here, um, we are given that. We're producing this much energy, so that's 2,480 kilojoules. So 2,480 kilojoules of energy times one reaction uh, times the number of moles of the reactant. So let's see here, we have two moles of the reactant, so we put two moles of C6H8. Hmm, that should be six. There we go, got that wrong. All right, C6 times the mass per mole. So the mass per mole, I think I wrote that down right here as a reference. So we have 78.11 grams per mole, so we don't have to calculate it. Remember, if you want to calculate it, carbon has a mass of 12.01 grams per mole, and H, hydrogen, has a mass of 1.008 grams per mole. So together, it becomes 78.11. So 78.11 grams of C6H6 divided by one mole of C6H6. All right, we divide the whole thing by the enthalpy change of the reaction. So it would be, um, uh, let's see here, the negatives are 6,278 kilojoules for that reaction uh, times one reaction and we multiply that, oh, okay, so we have that right there, and now we're ready to go ahead and calculate, that would then equal the mass of the reactant. All right, so let's get a calculator and figure this out. Unit-wise, notice that the moles cancel out, I might as well go ahead and cancel that, so the moles cancel out, the reaction cancel out, kilojoules cancel out, and we're left with, of course, the mass of the reaction in terms of grams of C6H6. So we have 2480 times 2 times 78.11 divided by 62.78 equals, hmm, and that gives us a mass of 61.7 grams of benzene. C6 
H6. There we go. So now we know the mass of the benzene, but not yet the volume. So now we have to convert from mass to volume. The definition of density, so we have the density expressed here for uh, benzene, which is 0.88 grams per mole, so a little bit less dense than water. But the definition of density that is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So we, we calculated the mass. We're given the density. We should from that be able to calculate the volume by rearranging this equation by saying volume is equal to mass divided by the density. Remember, again, we can move things across the diagonal. This is density over 1. So volume can come up here to the numerator. Density moves down there to the denominator on the other side, the equal sign. And so now we go ahead and write this as 61.7 grams of C6H6 divided by the density which is 0 0.88 grams per milliliter. So grams will cancel out, and since we have 1 over milliliter in the denominator, that then moves to the numerator, and so this will then be equal to, so divide this by 0.88 equals, and it would be 7.0, 7.0 milliliters. And that would then be the answer. So 7 milliliters of benzene combusted will give you an energy release of 2,480 kilojoules. Makes sense when you think about it.